All right, what is up guys? Back with a quick video and I wanted to kind of put this out there to the community. Look, I know a lot of guys and, and, and girls with glow forges and they're trying to do different things. Um, canvas art has always been a, a really cool thing that I thought was really cool. Um, I first started off with tile and tile is a little bit different, but you can get some really cool effects and really cool images. Um, lasering off of a, like two tone or three tone or whatever kind of paints you want to use. Um, on those types of surfaces, but I wanted to, to quickly dial in and talk about canvas art um, You can go on the Glowforge group on Facebook But you'll see kind of like mixed reviews as well as far as settings and things like that to be able to uh, Engrave on canvas and basically I just want to do a quick walkthrough with you on this video to show you how I prep the photos before you start to laser them so on the left side here we are going with uh, the Big Gimp. Uh, if you don't have the Big Gimp program, I would suggest that you do go get it. And I'm gonna do it like a small eight by ten for my, my my kids. They love MHA, um, so they picked this photo out. I'm looking at it; looks kind of cool. So we're gonna do this one. First thing I do when I get the image into Big Gimp, whether it's a PNG or a JPEG, it's okay. First thing I do, or that you need to do, is come up to Images. And you're gonna go to mode all right you go to mode you're gonna hit grayscale now some of you run into the issue right now where you're just like okay I click on the big gimp gimpin uh, plug-in to do the uh, you know to do the process and it, it doesn't work so what you need to do is is go back to image back to mode hit RGB again it will keep the image black and white or grayscale that's what you want. Now you can go into the Big Gimp, hit it. But first time, first what I usually like to, you don't have to do it, but most times if it's a really dark image, what I'll do after I change it to grayscale, I will go over to the colors tab and I will click on either brightness, contrast, or levels. For these, for, uh, for the canvas art, I just go to brightness and I will adjust it from there. You can do a split view as well, so you can kind of see what it looks like compared to the, the original. Um, just depends, you know, like on this one, I went to 15, and uh, once you hit that, hit OK, changes the image, go to Big Gimp and plug in, hit it, and what I do is here is still has my settings in there. So with the eight by 10 in the Glowforge, you do need to, well, at least I take out the crumb tray. Uh, as you can see on the image on the right, that is the hot bed or the bed uh, with the live view. Um, so what I'll do is with this image, I keep it at 300 EPI at least minimum. Um, and for the eight by 10, I usually do 280 across or width and 360 down now if this was 11 by like 14 and you got to turn it sideways I just do I just flip the numbers the width I do 360 and the height I go 280 so right now we're just gonna go with exactly how it is you need to make sure tile is selected when you're doing canvas once it does its thing this is the image that you're left with and essentially when you're engraving this everything that's in white doesn't it's not going to get be really engraved everything in black or gray that's the part that's going to be engraved so what quick thing on what i did with this image or, or with the canvas is um, which i didn't show in this video is i looked at the original right i looked at the original image and i kind of try to copy the colors a little bit so i did the base green base green, a thick base green coat. So like I did two layers of green. Um, and then I went back over with some, a little bit of gold or with a, with some white to try to capture some of that detail in the gloves and in the face, you know, a little bit of white, uh, a little bit of red, some color. Uh, I think I did some yellow as well, a little bit of yellow. And these are, and these extra colors are just grazing shots, kind of not super heavy. Um, and then once you let that dry, I went back over it with gloss black or um and did basically a quick two coat with uh with that and let it dry and it's ready to go now what i have found my last image that i did was actual uh, photo portrait 
and I found the sweet spot for me uh, I'll get to it and show you here in a second but once you get your image on the left here in, uh, in, uh, in Big GIMP program once you get that image ready all you're gonna do is head to file export as and you're going to uh, ex either export as a PNG or a JPEG I would suggest using the JPEG um, because for some reason the um, Glowforge software does not like your images or your, uh, especially your PNGs to be too big or otherwise it, it would just give you an error nor this error here in the, in the right corner I'll tell you why in a second but once you do that you hit export um, you know you'll hit export it says this already exists but anyways you get the point once you hit export send it to where you want it to go and then you will load it up here on the right side on the um, on the online whatever you want to call it Glowforge uh, interface once you go there uh, and your image is imported you're gonna go up here I keep mine at a thousand um, the power what I saw that worked yesterday really well because I'm still doing a lot of testing is 60 was the sweet spot and it's all gonna depend on how you layer and paint your canvas um, if you end up putting a lot of paint on it like as far as you get your color down or your colors down uh, once you spray over that with black depending on how heavy you sprayed it will depend in, will depend on the amount of power you need from your Glowforge yesterday I sprayed it kind of heavy I did like two layers of white let it dry and then uh, on the portrait that I did yesterday and then I went over with two heavy layers of black and I found that I did it at around 62 um, around 62 power level and it was a little too much because there were certain areas on the canvas that weren't as thick as the others um, so I have to work on that and those actually got burned down to like the canvas it didn't burn but you could see the canvas the, the trick to this is to try to just scrape away the paint and leave the canvas protected so it doesn't burn but um so today we're gonna try 60 uh, on the power uh, I do very power with zero minimum power and then 225 you can go to 270 depending on how much detail your image has but 225 seems like it's a sweet spot and uh, this is usually what I roll with now before you start your Glowforge if you took your crumb tray out like I did you need to go ahead and set the focus And usually when you do this if you don't get it up high enough um, which is okay I mean I guess you can try to set it to where it's completely at the stock level of the crumb tray um, but you don't necessarily have to but this will obviously affect your results as far as how much power you need to put in but once I do that uh, sometimes if you don't do it at the correct rectite you're gonna get this error it's basically gonna say it can't um, can't really focus in on it uh, auto focus in on it so you could put manual settings in I don't really worry about it I do it just like this um, it, then you hit uh, you will hit your ready button and once you get that ready button down and it's pretty much go time you will hear your glow forge um, roll up oh, we'll wait here just for a second All right, and um, as it's almost done preparing. And as you see right then and there, it's going to give us a preliminary time of an hour, eight minutes. Um, again, you can have it go faster, but these are my optimal results. Um, now I've tried it, like I said, with... Um, one second. I've tried this with portraits and things like that. It's a little loud, forgive me. Um, so far this is the way I've been doing it that I've seen more success with but again go out get yourself some canvases uh, plenty of them for, for trial and error um, the, one of the, the best things that I like to do I will show you here actually right now 
before you, uh, when you, you're doing your practice canvas art, I would say come over here, make yourself a new design. Um, and all you're gonna do, like I have right here, I just have a little dot, and I just got, went up here to insert shape, put a circle in there, and do engrave, set your settings and engrave. And what you wanna do is before you even get ready to do a print, I should have done this first, but um, you set your power and you do uh, little dots. You do dots to, uh, you know, practice dots uh, on a practice piece before you start engraving. Um, and it'll save you a lot of time and a lot of headaches because it'll get down to the power you need to get, you know, to see the image how you want to see it. So other than that, that's pretty much it. I will do more videos here in the future um, for you guys. Uh, it's a little hard to actually get the viewing of the bed and this, this is not like an open uh, concept machine like an Artor laser or something like that so it's kind of hard to really see what it's doing just because it's enclosed and things like that so I will show you how this looks at the end and uh, it should look pretty good catch you pretty soon and guys this is how it ended up turning out um, now I will say uh, the, the gloss the black is a gloss so what I will say is that um, I fell victim to once again forgetting that once you spray that black on when you're lasering sometimes it's going to be very very hard to see if you're getting the colors that you want and what I did was I went back over this twice and that's because when you start cutting there's a lot of soot that gets left on the canvas and you have to wipe that away. I would suggest using a uh, magic eraser from Mr. Clean you should be good but I had actually went down further um, in some of the colors this should have been a lot greener but because I burned through it twice it burned off most of the paint but still came out good it's tinted uh, nice um, but it came out good this is for my daughter but yeah that's how it came out looks pretty good I think it came out pretty well um, again doesn't take much uh, just a little bit of creativity and, and file working and you'll be all right anyways catch you guys in the next one peace